Well, hello everybody, real quick before we get started. Surgery's going well, I will be in the studio later this week. I'm getting back into traditional video shooting where I'll be on camera. This will probably be one of the last videos where I do an exclusive voiceover because I can do it in my upstairs office and not have to try to walk down the stairs after my hip surgery. So I apologize if these voiceovers aren't your thing. I'll be back to normal. Thank you for your support. This um, hip surgery was really helpful and it's great. It's only been a month, but I'm up walking around and just starting to tackle stairs again post hip surgery. So thanks for your support. Thanks for the kind words. Now to the video. Hello everybody, Luke back once again, this time to break down everything we know about the spring 2021 Windows update. Yes, Windows 10 is getting a big update. We got the release date, Windows Hello features, and so much more. We're gonna break it all down for you, let you know what you can expect in your new Windows 10 update, and so much more. If you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And hopefully we can f help you learn something new, in this case, about your Windows 10 computer or laptop. So Windows 10 is up for a big update. Traditionally, Microsoft does a spring and fall update, with the spring being the bigger one of the two of them. This time it's bringing in some new features, including the new Windows Hello features that we'll break down in a minute. Now, everything here that is new isn't too big. We will we'll talk about some of the new security features and more, but we're gonna first start off with some of the big, more noticeable improvements you'll see right off the bat. But don't look for the redesigned Windows user interface that some had thought would come out as soon as this spring. Looks like that may be delayed. Maybe 2020 kind of put the brakes on that a little bit. We'll wait and see. But one of the big features here will be more support for multi cameras with Windows 10, making it easier for you to select which camera you want to use. If you have a built in camera into your laptop screen or your computer screen, you know that that's not always the camera you want to use, especially if you're using it for like facial recognition or other features. Windows 10 will now make it easier for you to select which camera you want to use in case it's not that built-in camera. Now, Microsoft is putting a heavy emphasis on security, especially when it comes to fighting viruses and malware. Now, they haven't listed out all the vulnerabilities and everything they will fix. They don't like to do that because if they say, hey, we're fixing this vulnerability, people who may not know about it may try to take advantage of it. But one of the things they are talking about is Windows Defender. Yes, the widely popular built-in anti-malware virus system is getting a big update that will reportedly help it um, protect you from new viruses and malware out there. This is a pretty significant jump from what it has been in the past. So we're going to keep a close eye on this. Fingers crossed that we will get an update on that a little closer to release date to see what kind of features the new Windows Defender will have. The other thing Microsoft is really working on is to make signing in easier and more secure, not just with Microsoft, but with Microsoft supported sites and services. Microsoft is expanding their biometric service to include facial recognition for sign in, improve pin security, and fingerprint security. So now you'll be able to sign into different services, including Windows 10, using facial recognition like you're using on your iPhone or Android device, but now with your computer and expanding support for fingerprint readers along with pens. Now Microsoft, like many places, is looking how to crack down on the growing trend of password theft. Too many people use the same password on multiple sites and services, and that results in it becoming very easy for um, a hacker to go to a weak site, crack it, and then take the usernames and passwords from that weakly secured site and try them on more secure sites, especially sites that are paid. And then they can turn around and sell your username off to people who wanna be able to use it for a paid service, but don't actually wanna pay for it themselves. This comes down to somebody using their bank account password on some random forum out there. That forum gets cracked, they download the six or 7,000 passwords there, and then they use bots to randomly try those username and passwords on paid services, bank accounts, and more. Again, don't use your same password and username out there on multiple different sites. You should have a password that's only used for your bank account, a password that's only used for paid services, and then a password 
scripts that are used out there if you're not using a password management service. And that's where Microsoft hopes to kind of become a little bit here. With Microsoft's Windows Hello, you'll be able to securely log into multiple different services and more using your Microsoft login, security pin, um, facial recognition, or fingerprint to kind of remove that, pa that password layer there. So the passwords are randomized on each of these and you're using biometrics to log in. It's a little bit more secure. You don't have to worry about somebody stealing your password with it. And look for this to become more and more common. We're already seeing it on some places when it comes to mobile. Now it's moving into desktop. There will also be a lot of bug fixes. Again, Microsoft is not being very clear on all that they're doing there. But typically, a lot of times when these updates come, they fix things and we find out what was changed later. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that. And the release date. So we don't have a firm exact release date. Microsoft is probably doesn't even know themselves, to be honest with you. They're probably at this moment working to try to get a firm release date, but word is they are targeting an April or May 2021 release date to start rolling this out. Typically they'll roll it out slowly and don't hit all Windows computers at once at the same moment. A little bit to help their servers survive it and a little bit to say, hey, we'll roll this out. If we suddenly find a major issue, we'll roll it back. So if you're interested, once we get into April, May, you can check to see if the update's available by going into settings on your Windows 10 computer, selecting update and security, and in there you'll find Windows update. That's where you'll be able to check for the latest update. You should have that set to auto update. You'll probably get the update automatically. I highly recommend it, but if you're a little impatient, you really want to see if you can get it right now, well, in April or May, that's how you do it. Settings, update, Windows update. Well, that's it for today. I hope everybody had a fantastic day. I really appreciate your support. If you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back in the studio later this week. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed and liked and helped us grow this brand new channel as we keep moving forward. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it.